and Jubilee is the jive for you. <laughs> What have we got for you men tonight? Why, we've got a lot of the hottest hot that ever shot out of the plot and got your plot by the fleet and made it holler all reef. If you feel loggy and under the weather, get a load of the tassets. We're about to tether. The chick with the limber timber, Mae Johnson, Jimmy Mitchell, Gene Rogers, who makes a set of 88 sound like a B-24, Johnny Taylor, Eddie Rochester Anderson, and the Hawkins Band with the handle man, Erskine. And now, here's your master of ceremonies, Whitman, with the big fat handle of Ernie. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Me and this early bright, I was sitting down in my tasty bowl of key ration when my Alexander Grimm's vibrated. I lifted the hero off the talker, and a lovely voice said, I miss the object of my trek to the altar is at APO 908. His name is Corporal Cato. Could you believe dedicate a number to him? Well, I lowered my big fat voice to his most resonant pitch and said, Mrs. Cato, the gut bucket is in the bag. And so for Corporal Cato and all the cats at 980, here's Hawk and the boys making with Let's Ball a While.
Thank you, Erskine Hawkins. Thank you. And now we call on the Hawkins with the handle of Erskine to hoist his choice voice to round them out of the next tune. Come in, Hawk. Thanks, Arnie. Ben, here's a tune we had many requests for. It's one that me and the boys have been donning and didn't since I was knee-high to a tea bag. It's somebody rocking my dream mode. With Jimmy Mitchell doing the rocking. Begin at the beginning, Erskine. Someone's rocking my dreamboat. Someone's invading my dream. We were sailing along so peaceful and calm. Suddenly something went wrong. Someone's rocking my dreamboat. Disturbing a beautiful dream It's a mystery to me This mutiny at sea Now who can it be? Friendly breeze gave us a start To the paradise all our own All at once a storm blew us apart and left me drifting alone. Someone's rocking my dreamboat. I'm captain without any crew, but with love as my guide, I'll follow the tide. Till I find you. Thank you, Erskine Hawkins, and thank you, Jimmy Mitchell. That was a pretty potent plum. Men, your last batch of scribbling has got Jubilee snowed under. And I mean, we've been hit on the head with an iceberg of blue fluid. It's simply wonderful. And if you'll just be patient, all your requests will be answered. Jubilee keeps digging the cats as they step over the various clouds here in Hot On Alley. Meantime, here comes some ivory massaging from private... for private Bruce Frasier at 82037. How are you, Brewster? You're about to dig... You're about to dig a whole mess of noodling, private, because needed to sell of 88 is that fine digit manipulator, Gene Rogers. Proceed, Gene.
gentlemen, in introducing our next guest, I'd like to harken back to the days when Jubilee was just a pup. She was around helping with a three-cornered jive and showing us how to latch on the safety pins. She was here before Solid had had time to gel. She was here before Jubilee spelled backward meant Ila Bouge. She was, in fact, she was here before Jubilee could spell. And so with open arms and a twinkle in my big fat eye, I'm glad to welcome back Mae Johnson. Welcome home, sweetie pie. Thanks, Ernie. But be careful about that sweet talk. A certain fellow at APO 510 might be listening, and he might not like it. Oh. So what? Is he bigger than me? Is that possible? <laughs> <laughs> Say, by the way, Ernie, huh? I'd like to dedicate my song to this certain person named Wes at APO 510. Is it okay? Well, uh, is he a latched on Jackson? Mm-hmm. Is he solid as potato salad? Is he a groovy Louie? Fight is why. Consider it dedicated. What'll it be? Well, I would like to sing Straighten Up and Fly Right. As the French would say, Bouge la boot. <laughs> Buzzer took the monkey for a ride in the air. Monkey thought that everything was on the square. The buzzer tried to throw the monkey off of his back. The monkey grabbed his neck and said, Now listen, Jack. Straighten up and fly right. Straighten up and stay right. Straighten up and fly right. Down top, or don't you blow your top? What's the use of diving? There ain't no need of diving. Straighten up and fly right. Down top, or don't you blow your top? Yes, the buzzer told the monkey, you're choking me. Release your hope, and I will set you free. The monkey looked the buzzer right dead in the eye and said, your story's mighty touching, but it sounds just like a lie. Straighten up and fly right. Gotta straighten up and fly. Stay right, straighten up and fly right, cool down, Papa, don't you blow your top. Hoy, hoy, the buzz told the monkey, you're choking me, release your hold and I will set you free. The monkey looked the buzz right dead in the eye and said, your story is mighty touching, <laughs> but it sure sounds like a lie. You better straighten up and fly right. Straighten up and stay right. Straighten up and fly right. Cool down, Papa, don't you blow your... Cool down, Papa, don't you blow your tongue. was really fine. Man, we want to take you for a little jive ride that ought to wrinkle the skin on a boiled beef. So climb a bride and we ride on down through Chicago, Detroit, Buffalo, Schenectady, Troy, Albany, Syracuse, Rochester! Coming, Mother! Well, Rochester? Well, don't stand there glaring at me. Say something. That son of a gun, ain't he? <laughs> Seriously, Ernest, I came over to Jubilee tonight to remind you about something. About what? Do you realize that next week Jubilee is one year old? I do. Do you realize that Jubilee ought to have a little birthday party? 
I do. Do you realize that you ought to let the fighting men in on what's going to take place? I do. Do you take this woman to be your lawful wedded wife? I do. No, no. Don't do that. <laughs> well, tell them what's going to jive out. <laughs> well, men, in honor of Jubilee's first birthday, we're going to bring you a soup on of most of the artists who appeared on the show today. It'll be Lena Horn, Louis Armstrong, Jimmy Lunsford, Ethel Waters, Duke Ellington, Count Basie, Art Tatum, Cab Calloway, Sister Thorpe. The list goes on and on and on. Well, Rochester, what do you say? Fat son of a gun, ain't he? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody loves a fat man. Oh, well. Don't forget Jubilee's first birthday next week, men. Meantime, Rochester... Who's that uh, mellow fellow who's been hovering around your left wing for the last couple of clicks on your pocket piece? Oh, you mean Johnny Taylor. Come here, Johnny. Yeah, what do you want, Rock? Say, uh, some of the fellas around here asked me if you and I couldn't do one of those songs we used to do, you know, a long time ago in Vaudeville. And I told them I'd call you out here and ask you about it. Oh, well, certainly that would be fine with me. But look, first, uh... Rochester, right, so something been bothering me for a long time, and I've been wanting to ask you. Well, go ahead. What well, is it? Well, now, it's a little personal. You don't have to answer it if you don't want to. Oh, that's all right. I don't mind. What is it? Well, look, uh, tell me, just how much of that Liberty Cabbage does Mr. Benny pay you every week? Well, it's... Well... <laughs> it's roughly about $2,000 a week. Uh, roughly? Yeah, but when you smooth it out, it's 30 bucks. <laughs> Let's sing. Okay. All right, we'll sing. Waiting for Jane. She's queen of my heart. She rules every part. She's there to remain. As she got that zeal. The best that there is That ought to explain I'm waiting for change and She loves to do The things I do What that is you can guess And when she does The things she does It makes my no me yes So broadcast the news Bring rice and old shoes, sweet essence of love, I'm waiting for Jane, still waiting for Jane, don't bother me now, I'll take a vow, I'll never complain, ain't singing no blue. I've nothing to lose, but so much to gain, I'm waiting for change. Why, it's not her looks, she never cooks an angel in disguise. It's not her walk, it's not her talk, but at loving, she's a prize. She's flagging my train. I'm letting her ride, my conscience, my guide, I'm waiting for change. Tell me, Racha, has she got a... No. A well, does she wear a... No, but she's got a... a yeah? Yeah! I'm, I'm waiting for change. <laughs> Tell me, boy, does she look like... Uh-uh. Well, uh, did you ever see her act like? Well, not lately, but she loves to. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Waiting for a day. Say, Roch, I'll buy the gal some hat. Well, I'll buy her some furs. Now, you know that should really make that gal look neat. Yeah, those warm red lips. Oh, it's tight like that. And the sidewalk sounds to me like me. But tell me, Roger, did she ever... Now, wait a minute. Cut that out. Uh, well, uh, did you ever? I should say not. But sometimes she lets me. Yeah! yeah! I'm waiting for it. Go!
Harvey Taylor. And now Jubilee does about face and comes phrase to phrase with the Hawkins with the Nemo of Erskine. What's a good word, Hawk? Well, honey, I'd like to acknowledge some of the mail from Private Melvin Stanley at 944, Harry Matthews, Curtis Andrews, Henry Braw, Houston Bowman at Fleet Post Office 66. Especially for the above cat, me and the boys would like to repeat some job a month ago. It's Junction with the front hound Tuxedo. Lay it on the cat's hawk.
Do you hear me talking to you? Well, I'll read. Well, I'll root. Well, I'll roll. Well, all right. As the girdle said to the fat lady, we gotta split up sometime. <laughs> <laughs> the start has been wrung from the staccato. Our skin smooth is slipping down over our peepers. Got a stash of frame between the lily whites and murmur. Good night, guys. But before we detach ourselves from this hemisphere, have you a word to add, Rochester? Ernie, it's always a pleasure to pop in here and beat up my chocks for the fighting men. Just vibrate my Alexander Grahams any time they ask me. And incidentally, Ernest, I have a request. Well, what is it? Well, my wife is always at me to get her on the air. She's always saying, put me on the static, Pops. And let me vent my feelings. Well, would it be okay if, uh, would it be okay with you, I should say, if she said hello to the fighting man? Oh, it'd be a pleasure. Come on, Mamie, speak your piece. <laughs> Hi, fellas, this is... That's enough. <laughs> Give her an inch and she'll take a mile. Yeah. So long, fellas. <laughs> thank you, Rochester. And thank you, Mrs. Anderson, for that brief message. Meantime, this is easy to hook, but nobody wants to waste the bait, Ernie Whitman. Clanking his crockery for Gene Rogers, Johnny Taylor. Maid Johnson, Jimmy Mitchell, the Brown Sisters, and Dave, Eddie Rochester Anderson, and Hawkins with the handle of earth. Glad you now and dig you later. So long and good luck. <laughs> You have been stewed in the juice of Jubilee under the solid cast veracity of the Special Service Division of the War Department of the United States of America. Thank <laughs> you.